if you have a patient with appendicitis, what physical exam features are you looking out for? This is very, very critical. Please make sure you write it in your notebook. Please make sure you write it in your notebook. This is very critical. Number one, in any patient with acute appendicitis, because of an inflammation or infection, make sure you check the patient's temperature. That's number one. Number two, physical exam. The patient may present with right lower quadrant tenderness. Number three, usually if you are doing preparing for your narcoski, you realize that we tell you, make sure that a patient who presents with abdominal pain, you've done a digital rectal exam. However, most of the time in patients with acute appendicitis, digital rectal exam is not going to give us any further in any further information. So if you have a patient with low grade fever with right lower quadrant pain, start thinking about acute appendicitis. Start thinking about it. Start thinking about acute appendicitis. All right? Okay, good. Now, we are going to look at common physical exam maneuvers in acute appendicitis to master for the MCQ1 exam. Common physical exam maneuvers. So please, I need someone to read this case for us. A 30-year-old female presents mm. to the ED with a, I'm using my phone, I can't see some part of it, with a story of right lower quadrant abdominal pain. She describes the pain as constant and worsening with no alleviating factors. On examination, there is tenderness in the right lower quadrant and the patient winces with passive right hip extension. Which physical examination maneuver is associated with a retrocecal appendix? Which physical examination maneuver is indicative of right-sided local peritoneal irritation? Mm -hmm. A, McBurney's point tenderness. B, Rosfin sign. C, SWAS sign. D, obturator sign. Beautiful. Who can help us? Type, I want to see at least 20 answers before we move on. 20 answers. Is it A? Is it B? Is it C? Is it D? Because you must be able to use the physical exam maneuvers, which you'll be given in the question stem, right? To be able to tell, is this, like, what's, what sign is, what sign is, what sign is this? Beautiful. So I got the answer. So the answer is rough sign sign. 30-year-old female presents to the emergency department with two 24-hour history of right lower quadrant abdominal pain. Describes the pain as constant and worsening with no alleviating factors. On exam, there's tenderness in the right lower quadrant and the patient winces with passive hip extension. Physical examination maneuver is actually with which, uh, which um, physical exam maneuver is actually with retrocecal appendix. Which physical exam maneuver is indicative of right-sided local peritoneal irritation? It's Rufsing sign. So the Rufsing sign refers to pain in the right lower quadrant with palpation of the left lower quadrant. And it's indicative of right-sided local peritoneal irritation. This sign helps in diagnosing appendicitis. Okay, So this is one sign that you need to know. Rufsing sign. Okay, I need someone else to read this question for us. I need another person to read, or whoever read that previous question, you read it so beautifully. Please read it again for us. Read this one. A so we are learning out about the various signs. Let's go. A 26-year-old male presents to the clinic with complaint of right lower quadrant abdominal pain for the past 12 hours. He reports that the pain started around his belly button and has gradually localized to the right lower quadrant. On examination, there is tenderness in the right lower quadrant and the patient winces with internal rotation of the right hip, which physical examination maneuver is associated with a pe pelvic appendix. Beautiful. A, pelvic McBurney's point, Continue. A, McBurney's point tenderness, mm -hmm. B, Rossby mm -hmm. sign, C, Swa sign, D, obturator sign. Mm -hmm. So which one are you going for? Again. So pelvic appendix, what's the answer? For pelvic appendix, the answer is obturator sign. So the obturator sign is associated with the pelvic appendix. It elicits right lower quadrant pain with flexion of the patient's hip and knee, followed by internal rotation of the right hip. Okay, This maneuver tests for irritation of the right obturator internus muscle. 
And I'm going to show you pictures due to an inflamed pelvic appendix. So you need to know McBenny's point tenderness. You need to know Rothschild's sign. You need to know SOA's sign. You need to know operator sign. And you need to know them as they can be described for you. Okay? So now let's go through it. So I led it with questions. Now let's get into it. McBenny's point tenderness is when you look at the belly button and then you um, locate the anterior superior iliac spine. One third the distance from the anterior superior iliac spine, or two thirds the distance from the umbilical stump here. Here. That is where we get the McBenny's point tenderness. So if you are trying to examine the patient for acute appendicitis and then the patient winces whenever you touch that part, okay? That is McBenny's point tenderness. That's it. Okay. So please learn this well because in the mock, you'll be tested on it. Okay, good. Rothschild's sign. In Rothschild's sign, you know that the appendix is here, but then you press on the left side. And what happens is that it transmits pressure through the intestines. So pain in the right iliac, right lower quadrant with palpation of the left lower quadrant. That is Rothschild's sign. It is indicative of right-sided local peritoneal irritation. That's it. We've learned about the McBenny's point tenderness. We are learning about the Rothschild sign. Rothschild sign, McBenny's point tenderness is on the right. Rothschild sign is pressing on the left. Okay, now let's move on. What about the SOAS sign? SOAS sign. SOAS sign. SOAS sign. Looks like the Rothschild sign and the McBenny's point tenderness is a bit easy for a lot of doctors. But what about the SOAS sign? Sower's sign is associated with retrocecal appendix. What do I mean by that? Right lower quadrant pain with passive right hip extension. So when we extend this hip, we move it backwards. The patient experiences right lower quadrant pain. The inflamed appendix may lie against the right sewer's muscle, okay? Causing the patient to shorten the muscle with drawing up of the right knee. Passive extension of the iliosoas muscle with hip extension causes right lower quadrant pain. So the sewer sign, you are basically moving the leg. You are moving it backwards. Doctor, so today you should be able to identify the obturator's and the McBenny's point tenderness, the Rothschild sign, and the sewer sign. And then let's move on again. What about the obturator sign? The obturator sign is associated with pelvic appendix. Okay, that's obturator internus muscle. That's what my, my mouse is showing you. This test is based on the principle that the inflamed appendix may lie against the right obturator internus muscle. When the patient's right hip and knee are flexed, followed by internal rotation of the right hip, this elicits right lower quadrant pain. So doctors, if I give you a case and... I describe McBenny's point tenderness. You must be able to pick it up. If I describe um, SOA sign, you must be able to pick it up. If I describe Rothschild sign, you must be able to pick it up. And if I describe obturator sign as well, you must be able to pick it up. Doctors, please, are you there? Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. Yes. So that's why I'm saying that, you know, acute is not just about, oh, I know, I know about its right lower quadrant, fever, increased white blood cell count, they need a penectomy. No. There are some details you need to know so far as this exam is passing. 